Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are doing a Hot or Not Tested, which means I am trying on products on the spot and giving you my thumbs up, thumbs down on a newer launch. So today we are playing with new liquid matte lipsticks from Rimmel. There are 14 of them, which means my lips are going to fall on the floor and be dried up and horrible by the end of this video. This new launch has, again, 14 shades, but they're really kind of all over the place. We have some nudes, we have some pinks, but fear not, there are some wild ones as well. We even have a gray. I don't know how this is gonna go down, but we're gonna figure it out together. I'm gonna be able to tell you which ones applied really evenly, just everything about the formula, experiencing it for the first time, and I'm really excited. This was sent to me. I got the whole big meal deal, like every single thing. They even sent it in like this giant packet. Like they meant business, right? Ooh, this is like a cute thumbnail right here. Tati is having focus issues yet again. We are gonna test out all of these items. They are not on Target or Walmart just yet, but I am thinking they're gonna be around $6.99. That is the price point of most of their lip products. They kind of fall in the $4.99 to $7.99 range, so I don't expect them to be much more expensive than that. Rimmel is very affordable, and they have some of my favorite drugstore products, so I am really excited. They have not come to the party when it comes to liquid lipstick, so this is a big deal. It's like a really big moment. Three, two, one, guys, let's get started. Let's do this. That really stinks so bad. Like a mixture of campfire and cherry cough syrup. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but you know what? We're doing this video. We're already sitting down. We're already here. The smell on these, not awesome. The doe foot applicator looks fantastic. You have a nice grip with this triangular shaped lid. And let's just go in and see how opaque these are. Mm, I can kind of see a little bit of the color of my lips through, so that's not great. It's like I'm smearing foundation on my mouth. That's really like a very whipped texture for a matte liquid lip. This is the shade Latte To Go. Maybe it's just this shade, but it's pretty gosh darn patchy. So it says that this is a bold color with just one stroke, impressive staying power, kiss proof, touch proof, waterproof, velvety matte finish, and it's unbelievably comfortable and lightweight in texture, which it is very lightweight. Yeah, it does feel very comfortable and lightweight. I will give it that. Maybe it's just this shade, but it just, is a little bit patchy. Okay, this shade's just not, I'm not feeling it. Rimmel already hates that they sent me the big box that they did. Okay, moving on. We're gonna go straight to 720. This is the shade Mocha. Please be better, Mocha, be better. Campfire. Okay, that already is a lot better. That is really, really pretty. This one is not nearly as patchy, super comfortable, went on with one swipe, one coat. I didn't have to spend a you know, ton of time going back and forth. I really like that. Okay, so Mocha is good. We're gonna try Be My Baby. I don't know that I like this. Maybe it's just the color. Okay, this one, if you do two coats, it looks really, really pretty, but the first coat kind of makes you go, mm, I wish I could pump up the color a little bit more, but it does layer up easily, this particular shade, so not bad. And these do dry down really fast. Like you can actually feel it transforming into a matte. It does not stay kind of goopy or gloppy. It dries down fast. Uh, now I need to go off all my foundation. I look psycho. Let's just call it for what it is. Okay, moving on. We're gonna try the shade Pink Bliss. That is very, very pigmented. All right, I'm gonna do something a little bit different and kind of let this one completely dry down. I'm gonna give it a good couple of minutes and then go in with another layer because I feel like you're probably gonna be able to get it completely opaque if you go that method. And I just wanna test it out because this is a really pretty color. The colors in this range are beautiful. The only one so far that's really disappointing me is that first one that I tried out because it was just super, super patchy and just felt different than the others so far. So 
we'll let this one dry. All right, let's go in with another coat. You can see this dries down completely, totally matte. This is really pretty. I really, really like this color. I like how it is covering every little bit of my natural lip color. It looks really nice. I'm into it. This makeup remover that I'm using is disgusting. Still have a few more pinks, believe it or not. We now have the shade Blush. That is a really pretty color. They did such a killer job with these shades. They're really, really pretty, and I, I like this one. We are now gonna try the shade Pink Blink. I think I like the pinks more than I like the nudes, which is very unusual because I am normally that beigey, nudie kind of a girl, but I am loving these pink shades. They are so pretty. I wanna show you a side by side because like when you're looking in the tube, you're like, well, they all look identical. What are you even talking about? So I'm putting pink blink on top, blush right next to it, and pink blush underneath that. So you guys can see I'm not crazy. There is a difference. At least I can see a difference. I know I would show James this and he'd be like, oh, they're all pink. All right, we're gonna try the last pink, Rose and Shine. This is the darkest of the pinks. Ooh. It almost goes on like an oil. It's so weird. All right, all the pinks are staying over here, top shelf. I'm loving them. Oh my gosh. And I love this kind of a look where it's like a really clean lid, but big wing, lash, and then some kind of bold situation on the lip. And I love a bold pink lip that is done right, that is in a flattering tone. Keep in mind also, because I'm trying on so many colors, I am not using any type of a lip liner. Clearly you would see me putting on a lip liner, but I'm just kind of testing out texture, how opaque they are and what they feel like on the lip. I'm not making things look perfect, but even still the pink ones looked really, really good. All right, so now we're trying the shade Heartbeat. I actually really like this kind of bright berry magenta type of a shade oh my god look at how opaque that is so this is a full lip without me going back into the tube and grabbing any more color so this really is just one swipe i think this is such a pretty and fun shade really really great for this time of year too where it kind of just feels very summertime and like colorful and bright and not too serious. So I really like this. Again, the shade is Heartbeat. Let's do another berry shade. This is the shade Plum This Show. I think I'm gonna like this one too. I'm liking most of these. I'm so surprised that the nudes are the ones that I don't like though. That's never the case. All right, that's a little patchy. Do we see that? Yeah, eh, this is a hard color to do. See how this looks so much darker right here and it looks lighter here. The color tone itself is really, really pretty and it is a bummer, but do you see it's just really, really uneven. So this one I don't like. Let's try out the darkest berry shade. This is Midnight. I really wish this smelled like straight cherry or vanilla or something that wasn't so chemical, but it does not taste bad. Like if you lick your lips, it doesn't taste bad. I will update you on that. Okay, this looks promising. Mm -hmm. It's patchy. Gosh dang it. That's as far as I'm going with this one. I think it's time to test drive the gray shade. This is Shadow. The excellent for my daily activities of grocery shopping, maybe wear it to the gym. Yeah, it's pretty sheer. This is one of those, like, you know when you paint your nails and there are certain polishes that you're like, you definitely need two coats, maybe even three. This is gonna be that kind of a thing. It is a very unique color. The formula feels really comfortable. So if you're after this kind of a color and you don't wanna spend Sephora money, then you probably could layer this one up, but just one swipe, this is what it's doing. It's not covering everything. And it is more on the sheer side than some of the others that I have tried out. All right, let's test out Blue Iris. I'm actually hopeful for this one because it's kind of like a purpley blue. Oh my God, and it feels Whoa, it feels so much thicker than the others. 
Dang, look at that. That is a good product. They put some extra time and money into this one because the texture is entirely different. You guys, I actually really, really like this color. Like not just how it applied and the pigment and all of that, like that's all good. I actually enjoy the way this looks on me, like the color. Let me know in the comment section below. Not in my normal day to day, but like if I was going out in the evening, do you think that this would be ridiculous for me to wear? I'm in my 30s. Now, I'm not someone that thinks that you have to not do things at a certain age range, but also like I don't wanna look like I'm chasing the wrong direction. I'm just trying to be where I'm at and be me. I like it. I think that I'm gonna try on pitch black. I'm scared, I don't know why. I feel like this is really gonna stain my mouth. No, do you see how that is so different than the last one? Mm. This is not, no, I don't like it. Mm. The formula is bad. I have to say I'm a little bit surprised that out of 14 colors, there is only one red, but we're gonna give it a final spin. This is Firestarter, I like the name of it. I hope it's really creamy like the Navy one, let's see. Nope, it's not, but it is very opaque. Oh yes. My lips are so fried from trying on so many of these products that I'm having a hard time getting it completely even, but this red is really pretty. It's not as good as this one. I wish it was this texture, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna put it in the keep pile. And we're like at a 50-50, which is kind of interesting. These ones right here, I love. They are fully Tati approved as far as a first impressions go. I'll let you know as I continue to wear these how they are going and and which ones end up being like my ultimate favorites. Maybe I'll put them in an upcoming favorites video. But this handful right here, texture wise, really, really great. This, I probably won't use these. I will pass them on to a friend to try out. Not really into it. I think that you can do better. Let me know what your thoughts are. Which one was the best shade on me and which one should I never ever wear again? You can leave that too. I won't be offended. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more try-ons like this, please give the video a thumbs up, share it, leave me those comments below. And I hope you're having a good one, whatever you are doing. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.